Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out Samsung refrigerator freezer handle support. It's going to be a very easy repair and it's going to take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new freezer handle support. The freezer handle support holds the handle onto the freezer door. The manager will be changing it out so if it's damaged and the handle's coming loose. In order to get to the part, we have to take off the freezer door handle. We're going to use a 3 seconds Allen wrench to loosen up the set screw. Once you have the set screw loose, we can pull the handle off the mounting pin. And then we have to slide it to the right so the other end releases. Once you have it free, you can pull it off. Once you have the handle free, you can pull it off the door. If you try to take your handle off and the left side won't unlock, you may have the style that's locked on there. So you may have to open up the freezer door. And then we have to lift up on the handle like this and get it angled back towards the refrigerator and lift it off. Once you have the freezer door handle off, we can pull it off the refrigerator. Now that we have the handle off the freezer door, we're going to use a Phillips screwdriver to take out the screw that holds the handle support to the handle. Once you have the screw out, you can pull out the handle support. And then we have to take off the end cap, just held on there by a locking tab. So we're going to use a small flathead screwdriver to pop it off. Once you have the end cap off, you can separate the two pieces. Here's the old freezer handle support next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at appliancepartspros.com. Before we put the new freezer handle support back in the handle, we have to put the end cap on. Just have to line it up, snap it into place. Once you have the end cap on, you can turn the handle over and slide the handle support in. Once you have it in, we can use a Phillips screwdriver to put the screw in to hold it to the handle. Now that we have the handle put back together, we can put it back on the freezer door. The new handle support doesn't have the little locking tabs like the old one did, so we don't have to put it on at that weird angle. We can just lift it up onto the mounting peg and then slide it to the left to lock it in. Once you have that on, we can line up the handle on the right side, push it on, and then we can close the door and use the 3 seconds Allen wrench to tighten down the set screw. Now that we have the freezer door handle installed, we can plug the refrigerator back in and make sure it starts to cool. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.